Hi guys, Lee here from Trading College with your free market update for the 12th of February. So the DAX has been on a tear this week. Um, we've seen some very nice bullish price action on the DAX. The reason we're looking for longs or we look for longs this week on the German DAX is because last week we had a green trend predictor long. Now, when you get a green trend predictor long, it means that the next candlestick has an 80% chance of going up and being up. Now, this week's candlestick is the light green one. Last week it was dark green, which means the market closed down. The price went down, the candlestick closed down. This light green one just means that you know, it's just closing up or not closing up because the weekly time frame hasn't closed yet. It's trading up. Now it's moved here from 10,975 all the way up to 11,001. We're trading at 11,143 as I'm doing this video. Okay, so when we get the weekly trend predictor, um, that came in last week and you can certainly receive that. Uh, you get that on a scanner. So we find these trades setting up on our scanners. Then what we want to do is because we don't want to just go long on the weekly time frame, you can do, but we want to increase the odds of making a winning trade and having good risk reward. So what we want to do is drill down to the smaller time frame. So we get down to that smaller time frame and then we're looking for this Monday break. Okay, so if you get a trend predictor on a weekly candlestick, Draw the trend lines through the lows. Make sure you do it at the end of the week, and that's a little bit early, so you want to go uh, to, because all of this wouldn't have, have happened. So you take it to the end of the week, which looks about here. And so then we're looking for the break. We get the break above. Now this is at two o'clock in the morning. Now you could place the order here, and it'd be a buy limit order. Stop placement on this, we're looking for down here. And we're looking, there's our entry right here. And so we're looking for four to one risk reward ratio. So let's get rid of that box here. Let's just show you where we put the stops. Let's say we're entering here, the stops just below the pivot. There's the box size. So we multiply that box by four. And we want to, and this is guesswork here. Okay, we're talking just in here. Okay, 11,185. Uh, one, two, maybe slightly higher here into the pro train system, 11,222 area. Okay, so we might want to just stretch that box a little bit more. If we get three to one risk reward ratio, I mean, we're trading right up here now. This is a beautiful move and it's been straight up. Um, and this was Tuesday. Tuesday we had this like flag setting up here, or triangle I should say. This nice contraction, nice break above there today, and ProTrain system just flying higher. Okay. Now, if I had my entry here, then, and my stop here, then as this moves, you know, we're moving 50, 60, 70 points in profit. There's absolutely no way I'm gonna leave my stop order here. I'm going to cancel it and I'm going to move it, put it underneath the pivot as it breaks higher today. You can see as the candlesticks move, you want to be moving your stop loss. As the candlesticks go sideways, you want to keep your stop loss sideways and not move it. If we start to break here, we move our candlestick. So trend predictor bringing in some very nice profits on the DAX. But the great thing about it was, and this is what you know builds the confidence, is that before the week even starts, we're looking for the directional trade on the trend predict. But what is even more powerful than the weekly time frame trend predictor is the monthly. Now, the monthly, of course, when you're using the monthly trend predictor, you are waiting for it to close at the end of the trading month. So you can see there's several here. There's two together here. We get some very nice moves down the S&P. Some nice moves down here on, remember we're just looking for the next month and that comes all the way down to this area here. So now the Dow Jones, uh, the, the S&P is getting a trend predictor red short for the month of February to short March. Now it is only the 12th of Mar uh, February, so this hasn't closed yet. And it works in real time of course, because it's updating every tick that goes through. 
But if this closes at the end of month with a trend predictor red, then March we're looking for short side trades. Now we don't know whether it's gonna go all the way down to here or it's gonna go you know, 20 points here. We don't, we don't know, but we're one step ahead. And the most important thing is to get into the trade. We get into the trade, manage risk. We're looking for that four to one risk reward. So interesting one here, guys, S&P 500 setting up a trend predictor, but it is only the 12. So we've got ages yet before this even confirms and it may turn off before the end of the month. So you can decide what type of trader you want to be when you're using the system here, the trend predictor. Now here's the pound on the four hour time frame. So this is obviously much quicker that you're doing uh, your work with, with your trading than the monthly time frame. Of course, monthly time frame is a whole year, 12 candlesticks. But here on the four hour time frame, things become quicker and you can certainly use the trend predictor to, there's a red arrow. So the next four hour candlestick was down. Nice one. There was a nice red arrow. This candlestick was a down day, a down four hours. This one, moved up slightly, didn't go anywhere. You probably wouldn't have been filled in that trade at all. This one here, you probably may have been filled and may have been stopped out of that one. This one here, red trend predictor, beautiful short trade. Uh, nicely, nice move down. Remember, within the training, you go down, we go down to our smaller time frames, guys, okay? If we get a signal here, then I wanna be dropping down to a smaller time frame to put that trend line in to see the break. If it doesn't break the trend line, then I'm not in the trade setting up my risk reward ratio. So there's lots of trend predictors setting up for this. The, we've got lots of them for this week and also some already setting up for next week. And of course, we've got some big um, monthly ones setting up as well, which are really exciting. So let's just take a quick look. Um, just take the pro train system off here. Let's just take a look at the stock indices. First, let's just have a little look at the dollar index here because I'm really interested in the uh, pound US dollar. Um, and looking at the dollar index here, we made a high, made a new high, signaled uh, we had a two wave short. Now we got trend predictor for this, uh, for last week signaled. So this week, potential move down here in the dollar. Now we could, I'm not an Elliotician, and I think a lot of Elliot Wave is all about recounting and um, ways to not make money. And, and I think that if you, but you have some basic structure of trend, uh, there is a, 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 you know, a stepping stone, not a stepping stone, but sort of a roadmap that I do believe in, and I do believe in one, two, three, four, five ABCs. And they're pretty clear because a lot of wave fives come with bearish divergence and then you get the ABC after a wave five. Now I don't care whether it's a wave five, a wave, fi uh, a wave five into an ABC or another one, two, three down here. It's all about getting in the move and then looking for that projected target down here. So. The dollar index is in corrective mode. Now with that trend predictor doing that, then I'd have to go down now to a smaller time frame to start to look for you know, entries to short the dollar. But I don't want to short the dollar. I'd rather be trading the euro dollar and pound dollar long um, for, a, for a move up, okay. So um, just thought I'd just give you some heads up on that. And then just looking at the DAX, I'm going back to that weekly time frame. We've got a lot of work to do here to, to see that if we start seeing some new reds and things, pro train system, I wanna see red signals and we just don't have red signals um, on the weekly for new big new shorts. But let's take a look at the Dow as well. Great thing about having a system, you know, you listen to all the news, you, you read up about so much that the stock market's going to crash. Um, but you just wait for the system to give you entry. And we've just been green pro trend system all the way up here. And every time I've spoken to you guys, it's all about, well, let's wait till we get reds. And that's kept us really safe. We've had no red PTS at all. And that's kept us really safe while others, people looking for major corrections, it's just not there yet. Um, 
Now we continue to drive higher. We've hit targets 24,354, 25,299, uh, and now we've got a target all the way up here, 27,189. I have no idea if we're going to get up to that area. Nobody does. But what we do know is that we're in the trade, we're looking long side still, and it's still bullish. And until we can get breaks structurally down below a support area here with confirmed red pro trading system like this here, or this, or this, then there is absolutely no reason to short the stock markets at this point. It may all change tonight on the video, but not at this point, guys. There is nothing there at all. Trend lines are being broken. Um, people counting waves and, and things. It's just, you know, we're just continuation to the upside until we get the momentum move back down. We may get that. We may get it. It's starting to lose a little bit, but hey-ho, we wait for the signal. All right, guys, that's the way you keep confident in trading. That's the way you stick to your system. That's the way you um, get decent returns in trading by having a system that you want to follow, that you enjoy trading, and then you get good at that and follow the system and managing risk. All right, hope it helps, and um, we'll speak to you soon. Take care.